All right, we're here at, uh, at Flow Sports. We're gonna make some videos. We're gonna do Worst Retirement Ever Austin and some other fun stuff. Let's do it. I'm Phil Guyman. When I was a pro cyclist, I would travel to some of the most beautiful places on earth and then race right past it and have dinner at the hotel. Now that I'm retired, I'm going back to do it right. But I still love to suffer, so I'm training hard and staying fit. This is Worst Retirement Ever. So the second stop on the, uh, hang on, I gotta check, on the No Kid Hungry Velo Guide Show Air Leisure Van Olympic Strava Tour 2019 presented by Nove is uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, and our Velo Guide for this trip uh, will be Ian Dilly, who's also, a, what are you, producer at Flow Bike? Senior producer, yeah. Okay, senior producer. Uh, so we'll be doing some videos with them and then uh, they're gonna make this video for us. Uh, so, so tell me a little bit about cycling in, in Austin, the community here. We mostly ride bikes so that we can eat tacos and drink beer and I guess cookies in okay. your case. So yep. that's pretty much it. Smash some hills, go to the driveway series of course, which mm -hmm. is a centerpiece of the community here and then uh, eat tacos and <laughs> drink beer after. Lots of bike paths in town, uh, big cycling community, lots of big bike shops it seems like. Yeah, no, the cycling community here is huge and the city really invests in the cycling community. Mm -hmm. um, infrastructure is increasing all the time. There's a bike path that goes more or less right from downtown Austin out to the driveway series racetrack uh, for the race we have every Thursday night. There's protected bike lanes that get you through downtown and out into the hills in West Austin. So yeah, it's, there's, uh, some, there's some KOMs that are of importance? There are. The most sought after one amongst the local pros, the pros and the real mm -hmm. pros yeah. is Lost Creek. There's some world tour world tour stuff in this town. There's, there's some a, world there's tour. There's some pedigree in Austin uh, that we discuss and then there's some that we don't discuss. Yeah, of course, Lawson Craddock yep. lives here. Uh, Nate Brown lived here for a bit. Uh, Gavin Mangan, who's now on Rally, has uh... nemeses. All of these guys are my nemeses. <laughs> and all then, right. of course, Kevin Fish. Yeah, and obviously everyone knows Kevin Fish. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do it. All right, let's check it out. Yeah. So, a uh, critical component of Austin life, I'm told, is tacos. Johnny Sutt here, former teammate. Austin resident, no. what, what's the best taco in this town? People get stabbed over that question here. Okay, well then be very careful with your answer. So, all right, uh, we can put this I, on Ian then. Yeah. Yeah, so we ended up here at Veracruz All Natural. There's a wide range of tacos in Austin from authentic to kind of like yuppie tacos. I feel like Veracruz hits it right in the middle. What kind of taco you want, man? Well, I don't know. That's part of the discussion, right? To let you know, I came here one time with your arch nemesis, Gavin. Okay. And whatever he, so he had oatmeal raisin taco. Do they have oatmeal raisin tacos here? Yeah, he, he had a breakfast taco with uh, just egg whites. Oh, like a God. pro cyclist. <laughs> oh. How do you say that, Mijas? Actually, Migas. I don't know. What? Am I gonna get stabbed? Yes. <laughs> I don't know what I did. <laughs> He's not from Why would the G be silent? In what? I don't know. <laughs> what language is that word? That's not Spanish? <laughs> the, it's Migas. Uh, and they are actually known for their Migas taco. You should ask for the Mijas taco. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Guarantee there's a gun in there. <laughs> I'm going to go with an Al Pastor. What do you want, Johnny? I'm going to have an Al Pastor and a fajita steak. I'll have a Migas. And uh, fajita steak, please. What salsa do you pair with this fajita steak taco? Do I go green or red? Which one is less likely to get me stabbed by You're, a taco You've purist? already gone way too far down that trail. Like, you've <laughs> I'm got already it dead. Yeah. There we go. Actually, I want to get stabbed. This taco sucks. <laughs> Austin doesn't know anything about tacos. You guys need to shape up. All right, should we... Um... Skype the person you're trying to vanquish. Here. Sure. So Kevin, uh, as the holder of of this, like this is the K I got a lot of messages that I should go for this KOM. Explain the importance of this KOM to the Austinites, to the to the people who are obsessed with tacos for some reason. Really, what made Lost Creek so special was the leaderboard. Top ten, you know, started to be current world world tour guys, ex world tour guys. Right. Uh, 
current Conti pros. I had time off and I was like, hey, you know, I'll go out, do some races and go out for some KOMs. A lot of KOMs are done on too much free time. So I went out the night before, we had some drinks, whatever. I woke up the next morning, my friend Mark Tremarkey, he said, hey, let's go for a ride. So I said, yeah, let's go ride. He said, let's ride Lost Creek. I said, sure, I didn't plan on making an effort. So my, so my friend Mark led me into the ramp and I mean, he immediately pulled off. I immediately was like, okay, going too slow, I gotta go. Kept it full gas on the flat section, then into the climb, to the rest of the climb, got to the top and I just felt it. I was like, that was it. Part of the reason I felt it is because I got to the top and fell off my bike. Oh, that's a good sign. On my phone, I saw I got it. I thought that was great too, just because uh, I also lost in second. So. You know you ruined his Tour de France when you did that too. <laughs> like, he, Lawson was poised to, to take yellow uh -huh. in the final week, and then you just shot his confidence. He just uh -huh. went straight down. He hasn't been the same since. Yeah. Uh, hey, sorry. It's a tough world out there. No, you're inside. right. You know what? It's true. You don't have any apologies. <laughs> All right, well, thanks, man. I'm, I'm inspired. Yeah. Um, I'm gassed up. I'm going to have some champagne tonight. All right, we've had our tacos. Now it's time for dessert, right? What do you eat for dessert? I don't know. I'm, I'm partial to like cupcakes, um, brownies, carrot cake, stuff like that. Yeah, let's go try some of that. Gavin Mannion messaged me and said, Quacks, and I'm, I'm typically a chocolate chip guy, but he said the salty oat is the way to go. Do you realize that's is, a trick? That's the thing is like, Gavin and I are arch nemeses. Are there raisins in that? Y yeah. Oh, what a dick. That's a new low even for Gavin. So we're getting a cookie delivered from a competition. There's two big cookie shops here. Is she just gonna like tuck and roll? She's not gonna just like up. throw it out? <laughs> Drop off the cookies. This could be like a drive-by cookie shooting. <laughs> is how I want it to be. Can you call her and tell her to do <laughs> that? Just, Does she have a cookie just, cannon? Just drop them in case there's like a cookie brawl. Well, I just wouldn't want to be seen here if I was her. Yeah, there could be a cookie brawl. I want an oh, all-out cookie war. Oh man, she parked across the street. That's smart. Hi there. Was this extra or is this included? That's included. I, <laughs> I was kind of hoping we could order it without that, but you can't. No, no, no. They all come with that. Why would you not want this? <laughs> Gavin Mannion, my arch nemesis, said I need to go to Quacks. We got the peanut butter uh, chocolate chip, which I'm looking forward to. It smells good. Lawson Craddock recommended Tiff's Treats. Ian had the idea to order Tiff's Treats delivered. So we're at Quacks, but we have a box of Tiff's Treats delivered here, which is kind of like going to a pizza hut and getting Domino's delivered. And they also included this cookie. <laughs> Call my dad is, hey man, I got, I got Mylar in my teeth. <laughs> Whichever cookie wins will be the one that I provide to the, uh, to the, the guests who come to the No Kid Hungry ride. What's, what's your opinion? What's your favorite out of these two? Quacks is sort of like a gritty, grungy bakery. And Tiff's treats, as you can see, it literally came with like bow and ribbon. Yeah. It's very girly. The happy well, I'm face. I'm comfortable with masculinity. <laughs> I think from an aesthetic, like cultural standpoint, mm -hmm. I much prefer quacks. But the concept of having fresh baked hot cookies delivered is ingenious. Okay, and these are all chocolate chip, or do we get an assortment? I got an assortment, so these ones on top appear to so, be... These are peanut butter. It's delivered. So you are, you're going head-to-head. This head is peanut head. butter chocolate. Yeah, yeah, peanut this is a, this is a controlled chocolate. experiment. I don't like a cookie that bends like this. I want it to I want it to bend for a second and then break. Oh, but that the chip did the melty thing. Of course the chip's gonna melt. It's eight million degrees out. This is... This is a tough decision. I, I like I like Tiff's better. Like this one, hot would be close. They're they're very different. They're per different personalities. I would appreciate a, a cookie shop that stood by its principles and didn't allow raisins into its doors. I imagine Tiff's has oatmeal raisin too. I'm just assuming. I think most cookie shops have that flaw. It did. I almost ordered some as a joke. But I would have been. I didn't want. I'm in a very to, short interview. I didn't want you to walk off the shoot. I'd be halfway back to LA by now. My favorite cookie has a nostalgia factor. Jekyll Island, Georgia. There's like a cafe there. I used to go there when I was a summer when I was a kid, and uh, my dad would buy me the same cookie. And it's like it's a delicious cookie, but you can't beat the story behind it. Either way, this was great. Lawson? Yeah, well, that's not so awesome.
Gavin recommended I go to Quacks. He said that's the best cookie in town. I just had both cookies. I just had a Quacks and a Tiff's. What's your preference between those two? Like, I have my thoughts. With both Tiff Streets and Quacks, I've got kind of a special connection. Okay. My wife, uh, she worked at Tiff Streets, and that's actually the reason why we met. And then, but yeah, about two years ago, we actually moved like three blocks away from Quacks. And now that is also a regular. I always used to walk in there and just order with the duck face. <laughs> so Lost Creek is probably the most sought after KON in Austin. Mm-hmm. I think I did in 326. Kevin Fish is sitting at like 3, 320 or 321. You come ripping down this downhill. And I think that's pretty key to, to all your success because you sure. immediately go sure. up to about 25%. And you stay at about 25% for like for like 3K. Okay, that's steep. So 3K and then another 2K where it kind of sh- like shallows out of, you know, maybe maybe 18%. So you really got to wow. hit it on that first 3K. Yikes. I didn't know it was that steep. That's rude. I <laughs> hope you do exactly what I just told you. <laughs> I can't trust Lawson. All right, sweet man. Thanks. All right, catch Enjoy you later. Detail. Later. This morning is the big day. Phil Guyman is sleeping here in the parking lot of a Walmart in South Austin. We're gonna go meet him and go for the Lost Creek KOM. Hey, good what morning, man. It? <laughs> it's like nine. Um, I'll get dressed. Give me a minute. Okay, are you ready? Obviously. <laughs> Lost Creek Boulevard for the Lost Creek KOM challenge and we have found the Lost Creek apparently. Yep, it's not lost. It's right here. What are your thoughts? Um, I did like a little effort going into it. I've got the live segment on the, the Wahoo and it was, I was definitely, it's fast. Like as soon as we started I was 10 seconds down. I don't know how that's possible. From a Strava purist perspective I'm not supposed to have help on the climb, okay. but I can have whatever help I need going into the bottom okay. of the climb. The highest speed that you can have me up to at okay. the end of that bridge, okay. where it starts to kick, and then uh, and then it's supposed to be on me. I should have slept here. I could like be living the climb, you know? Lawson, Kevin Fish, I hope you're good at law, because you're not good at this. Oh, that did hurt. I'm, I'm lying. That hurt. But I got it. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. There's no way to put my legs that they don't hurt. So that hurt. You did it, though. I did do it. That's nice. I wouldn't want to try it again. I think my track training is working. Yeah. We're not bad for week three. Mm-hmm. I can do a good three minutes and change. You know, you, you rode that downhill like you don't have children that you're afraid to leave. <laughs> I hope your wife doesn't watch this. But you took a lot of risks. <laughs> it was pretty impressive to see in person somebody go that fast up a hill. I think we uh, learned some things about shooting Strava KOM. So the wind force going down the hill shut the rear hatch on the minivan we were shooting right. out of. Oh, okay. Your actual attempt was shot just through the window. So what you're seeing here van. is you saw the, the first take was not drafting by a van, and that was the KOM take. And the second take was we, we did another effort 
so that it would be on the thing. That's how much I suffer for my art and for my followers and for No Kid Hungry. So one of the main things about cycling in Austin that everyone told me I need to check out is the driveway series. Ian, what is that and what is this thing on me that's pinned to my, to my beautiful skin suit? You know, when what I was that? registering you for this bike race. Wait, 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 wait. What's that R word? Bike race that we're doing, Phil. I noticed the last bike race you had done was 2017. Was what did I do in 17? It was a hill climb, I think probably. it was the hill climb. Yeah. And then before that, I think it was 2015. So, yeah. So, four years. We brought you out of retirement. The driveway series brought you yeah. out of retirement. I'm still retired. It's a state of mind, Ian. This is America's most popular weeknight bike race. It takes place at the Driveway Austin racetrack here in East Austin. There's free beer. There's music from the 90s. There, there's, mm. kid, there's a kid's race. There's a kid's obstacle course. And there's a bicycle racing clinic, which uh, my team, Super Squadra, hosts. It's, it's a great scene here. It's a really cool community. This seems to be like the hub of, of Austin cycling. That was fun, man. That was just like a group ride on steroids, you know? How do you feel about getting beat by a 16-year-old? Well, if I knew he was 16, I would have sprinted harder. He looked like a grown-up. He was fast. Yeah, I don't know if he's working. Thank you, guys. Really... I appreciate it. Yeah. And don't forget to yeah, stop by your... And uh, for the last ride in Austin, we're at the Bicycle Sports Shop. And, uh, and all these lovely people made a little donation to No Kid Hungry. And, uh, and they're gonna show me, I think it's Jester, it's like the steepest climb around here because we're all mean that way. But uh, we're gonna have a nice ride and uh, Strava's providing cookies. It's supposed to be cookies at the summit of the climb, but they wouldn't deliver to the summit. So they delivered to the bike shop. And, uh, but in honor of Strava Summit, we're doing that. <laughs> Oh man. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, Kevin Fish really is better than you. That's it. That's what it is. That's, that's to me the thing is, <laughs> this is the ultimate proof. Uh, so, <laughs> Kevin Fish didn't have all the pressure of a live audience though. I don't think it was the pressure. <laughs> it got me. <laughs> it was the barbecue. I didn't get it. Thanks guys. <laughs> yeah, it was your fault. <laughs> Now a trip to Texas wouldn't be complete without uh, a jump into Barton Springs, right? What is this? Where are we? We are basically at the heart and soul of Austin. This is a spring-fed pool that bubbles up out of the ground just like a mile or so from downtown. So spring-fed, clean water. Yeah, extremely okay. clean. In fact, part of the reason that Austin has so many parks, has so much green space, is because a lot of um, it is protected because of the watershed into Barton Springs okay. uh, to keep so, the springs clean. So I'm good to do my laundry and my dishes in here. I need to that, clean this stuff. No, there's a, there's actually an endangered salamander that lives here, the Come Barton on. Springs salamander. He only lives here and uh, the right, salamander right, is right. protected Fine. by a police force. I'll wash Austin. it in the van. I'll wash yeah. it in the van. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, so that's it. That'll be it for Austin. Uh, we're going to jump in. Uh, next stop is Nashville. Uh, sign up for Velo Guide for your little summer trips. Um, they're donating something No Kid Hungry. Donate to the page. Follow me on the things.
thank you, Velo Guide Ian. Yeah, go uh, to Flow Bikes for yeah, all the Yeah, go extra to Flow content. Bikes. There's more stuff. There's an extended cut, and there's other fun things. Uh, we've been here all week making videos. Yeah, thanks for coming, Phil. Sweet. All right, let's take the mic off and jump in the water.